Strikebox TV. Bonjour. Buongiorno. Ni hao. Hi. Hello. I don't know where you're watching this from. We're here in Ontario, Canada. And we just got a lovely new, uh, some new restrictions, some new Corona COVID lockdown restrictions. So I got, you know, I find myself with a little bit more time than usual on my hands, which means I can do more of these videos. If you're enjoying them, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, you know the deal. But yeah, we're not really supposed to go out. We have to stay inside and stay safe. So that means instead of trying to do one video a day, sometimes I can do two. So I thought the tank's looking really good. Let me kind of just walk through and give you an update. This is our display tank here in the store. Our, I think 70 gallons. I keep saying 70. I think it's a 70 gallon tank, 44. 30, 17 high, very shallow, Hydra 32 HDs. But yeah, I'm just gonna run through some of the corals and how things are looking and doing and give you sort of a, a quick update. So Torch Garden, this thing just keeps getting better and better and better. I should have done a video how brown and ugly and just, you wouldn't have looked at this thing twice when it came in. It was just not the nicest torch. So I'm not trying to make you feel bad there, Mr. Torch, but You've been working out, you look good. He looks great. He's got these nice tips, gold storms to come through. This guy not doing as well. I don't know if he's getting maybe shaded or some of the other torches are kind of encroaching on him, but he's not opening as well as he used to. Yeah, it could be just getting just maybe a little bit too close. This guy's doing great. The other torches are doing awesome, but this one's always done kind of, he's been kind of funky. The color's sort of bleached. This torch over here, is getting too close to our Kenya tree, which I keep on cutting, but he keeps on, he doesn't mind the pain. I think he's a masochist or sadist or whatever you want to call it. Sadist, I think, yeah, sadist, he likes the pain. So he keeps growing into this, this torch over here. The red planet is looking good, but it's starting to take on a much more green appearance than I'm used to. I'm old school, I really, really like T5s. I think halides are probably still one of the best lights out there. I'm not trying to knock on LEDs, but this could be so, so much nicer under T5s, it gets the most incredible red, and it's just getting um, more green than I'm used to seeing on a red planet. Green Digi here, surprisingly, isn't doing much. Usually, I'm used to seeing this grow a lot faster, and same with the Stellata, so I should probably look at the calcium and alkalinity levels. Added a nice Starburst Monty over here, but this red Digi is doing good. I've actually taken a few frags off of it. Pink Cadillac's doing well, he's doing well, and some of the Gorgonians, um, if I want to say maybe three weeks ago, weren't doing so hot. And so I started feeding uh, Reef Nutrition's live phyto. But these are photosynthetic. They don't necessarily need live phyto. So this really cool red one, I'm really in love with this one. It's a, a nice color for a photosynthetic one. Wasn't doing terribly well. So I started feeding this, because uh, this is what I'm used to using for non-photosynthetic Gorgonians. And they seem to improve. So I guess they're eating it. Actually, everything in the tank should should benefit from this stuff. It's live. You gotta be careful with it though. It's gonna increase your nutrients. It's gotta go in the fridge, but I really like this. And I'm getting this tank ready to add a mandarin because I'm a big fan of mandarin fish. So recently I added a bottle of this. These are some live tigger pots. And also some of these, some apex pots. We do sell these here in the store. Um, you do gotta keep them in your fridge, but these are great just to increase the uh, pod population in your tank. And I'm just, I'm just starting to get ready to I want to add a mandarin fish, but I don't know if you can see, sorry, the camera's kind of blurry. Lots and lots of pods in there, tons. There's a couple thousand in every bottle. And hopefully, if Canada Post would deliver our camera, we could start shooting in 4K. But not to get sidetracked, hammer's looking good. I kind of bunched them a little bit closer. And if you saw one of the other videos, one of the um, clownfish really, really took a liking to this cool yellow hammer and it was doing what I call over hosting. So he wouldn't leave it alone. He just continuously would swim in it and bother and harass it. And I guess he thought it was an enemy and I had to take it out. The hammer, it just really, really wasn't doing too well. This is the fish right here, the culprit. Sorry, buddy, I really like you and you're really cute, but uh, I choose corals over fish, which is maybe not the right thing to do, but he's for sale now if anybody wants. Um, yeah, if maybe, you know what? If you want a clownfish that has been proven to host hammers, this guy's up for grabs. I think it's a naked, but yeah, he's pretty cool. This side of the tank, I think I'm gonna add more rock work because I'm having trouble building up the, um, the Acan garden that's in here. I'd like a little bit more flat pieces to kind of give more options and more shelving. So if you look at it here from the side, I kind of have this, this kind of 
vertical sort of drop off right around here and then it's very tricky to actually place any corals so I'm probably going to build it out a little bit with some of the flat rock so I can get more just more usable kind of rock space kind of like how this shelf here so the more flat space you have the easier it is to to go and place stuff I've added this other nice yellow octospawn in here which is probably too close to the nice gold maxima that's hanging out there this guy's as happy as a clam he looks great I'm in love with this one we get a, a lot of people want it um, but I'm in love with him so it's hard to sell stuff that you love this seriously needs a trimming and if anybody wants to see a video on fragging Kenya tree this stuff grows incredibly fast and it's kind of taking over this whole section over here the pineapple expressos have decided that they are done paying their rent and have moved out or maybe they've been evicted I don't know but they're down here on the sand but they used to be on that plug over there these aren't doing terribly well actually these red zoas nice emerald crab doing his job it kind of looks like he's eating Kenya tree don't do that don't make me pull you out wow he may actually be eating that Kenya tree huh this tank is super clean maybe maybe he's uh he thinks it's algae but yeah actually zoas not doing terribly well down here this may not be the ideal spot for zoas so we may have to rethink about making this the zoa garden might just continue with some some euphilia and and move them somewhere else these seem to be doing pretty good up here the uh, scrambled eggs uh, this was going to be a little flower pot section over here i know we're supposed to do a video on flower pots i keep talking about it but if you want a little preview high flow and feeding of reefroids medium light i think that's some of the secrets to success with these guys and then finally i'm waiting to find something that really really speaks to me to put over here i have this nice sort of big empty waiting spot it's got to be a showpiece of a coral i'm really not sure what yet i'm kind of leaning towards maybe some sort of high-end acro and just letting it grow out like a, like a walt disney or an orange passion but yeah tank overall is doing fairly well this leather that i really really like is very finicky it'll open one day close another day open for a week close for a week i'm really not sure why or what's going on with them but yeah so the tank looks good just kind of show you that you know not everything goes according to plan all the time and if you watch the other video if you uh, couldn't figure out what this coral was actually i was showcasing um, that white one at the end of the last video i have four of them in here because i really really like these corals there's one over here and there's another one over here and there's one more over here. These are actually pipe organ. I think somebody said Xenia or cloves or something like that. But yeah, pipe organ. It's an unusual coral. I think they're I think they're only found in Australia. I could be wrong. Yeah, but I think uh, I think that's about it for this update and for today's video. If you guys have any other video ideas, you're stuck here inside the store during this pandemic. Leave you today with this cleaner shrimp, Mr. Skunk Cleaner. These are great members of your cleanup crew and they also happen to eat ick off of fish so good sort of prevention against ick they're great scavengers and they look really cool they got this beautiful red and white sort of pat uh, pattern to them and they'll live i think four to five years so worthwhile investment for your tank and maybe you want to add one but that's called a scarlet or skunk or cleaner shrimp they go by quite a few different names but that's it thanks for watching guys and happy reefing